in this class we are going to discuss about flag register we already taken an introduction about flag register in the architecture of 8085 microprocessor this is basically a 8 bit register so you can see the all 8 bits here so s z a c p and c y are used bits in this flag register that means in that 8 bits of flag register we will use only uh, four, uh, 5 bits that means s means sign flag when s is equal to 1 means if msb of alu result is equal to 1 then only your sign flag is equivalent to 1 and coming to 0 flag when z is equal to 1 means if alu result will shows you 00 h then only your 0 flag will be activated that means your alu result will shows 00 h then you, your 0 flag will be activated then coming to parity flag whenever your result is in even parity then your parity bit is activated or is equal to 1 coming to carry flag so whenever carry occurred if carry or borrow occurred in uh, uh, addition or subtraction then your carry flag will be activated and gives 1 and coming to auxiliary carry so carry when this auxiliary carry is equal to 1 means if carry from lower to upper nibble is carried or borrow from upper to lower nibble is carried then you will get auxiliary carry is equal to 1 but this auxiliary carry is uh, cannot be accessed by the programmer so this can be this only used by the computer this only accessed by the computer and it is used for bcd addition purpose now i will show you an example which will shows this sign flag and auxiliary carry and carry and everything so now i am going to take an example i want to add b c d so i want to add b c d so b c d means you know that these two are hexadecimal numbers two bit hexadecimal numbers i want to add this hexadecimal numbers you know that the value of b is 11 and c is 12 and d is 13 e is 14 so now i am taking that binary values b is of 11 means so here 1011 and c is of uh, 12 12 means 1100 and here d is of 13 13 means 1101 so this is 13 and e of 14 means so here you can take 1110 so now we need to add these two so now i am adding these two 00 will result you 0 0 plus 0 0 0 plus 1, 1, 1 plus 1, 0 with carry 1, 1 plus 1 plus 1, then 1 with carry 1. Now, here 1 plus 1 plus 1, again 1 with carry 1, 1 plus 1, 0 with carry 1, again 1 plus 1, 0 with carry 1. Here again you got 3 ones for addition, then you are going to get 1 with carry 1. This carry is taken in carry flag. Now, if you compare uh, this result with your flag register, then finally you can see the result E plus C. E is nothing but 14 and C is nothing but 12. 14 plus 12. So, here 14 plus 12 means 26. 26 we can't represent in hexadecimal. Then how we will do? So, 26 minus 16 we will take then the result is 10 here so 10 means here you are having a with uh, uh, hexadecimal carry one we will take all you know about hexadecimal addition in the starting unit we take in this hexadecimal addition in digital electronics so now here b means here 11 and d means here 13 11 plus 13 is equal to 24, 24 plus 1, 25. So, 25 also we cannot represent in hexadecimal. Then, we will take 25 minus 16 is equal to 9. Then, what we will do? So, here 9 with hexadecimal carry 1 we will take. So, here you can observe this is 9A. 1010 means A 
and this is 9. 9a is the result with hexadecimal carry 1. Here how we will place 1s in this flag register means coming to S. This is a sign flag. When it will be 1 means if MSB of ALU result is 1. That means most significant bit of ALU. ALU you know that ALU is a 8 bit. So in this 8 bits the MSB is 1 here. If MSB of ALU result is 1, then sign flag is 1 for this result. For this operation, if you saw your flag register, then S will be is equivalent to 1. Coming to 0 flag, when 0 flag is equal to 1 means, if ALU result is 0, 0 H, then only Z is equal to 1. But here, your ALU result is not is equivalent to 0, 0 H. This having some value like 9a. So, your 0 flag won't be activated here and will be put as 0. So, now coming to parity flag. So, parity flag will be activated or gives 1 whenever ALU result is in even parity. Now, you can observe your ALU result. This is in even parity or not you need to check. So, here you can observe 4 ones. 4 ones in digital data means that is in even parity. Definitely you can put your parity flag as equivalent to 1 in this particular operation. So, now coming to carry flag. Whenever carry or borrow occur during addition or subtraction, then your carry flag will be activated. So, we are getting a final end around carry. So, that is why. So, your carry flag is equivalent to 1. Yes, we got carry that is why you take in this carry as equivalent to 1. Coming to auxiliary carry. Carry from lower to upper nibble or borrow from upper to lower nibble in case of subtraction is occurred. Then you can put your auxiliary carry is equivalent to 1. Now, you can see here. So, this is 1 nipple and this is 1 nipple. So, here one, uh, from this nibble to this nibble you got carry. So, in this addition of 3 ones you got 1 with carry 1. So, that means this carry, so this particular carry carried from this lower nibble to upper nibble. So, that is why your auxiliary carry value is also equivalent to 1 but this auxiliary carry we cannot access. So, that means programmer is not having access to auxiliary carry that will be internally used by the computer uh, like uh, in BCD edition like that type of operations it will be internally used by the computer. So, like this flag register is going to set its value according to the operations.